and welcome to the Forward Progress Show. I'm your host, Deanna Brown, and we are here today with our esteemed guest, and I am just so excited that you guys are here. Um, I know there's a long professional resume that each of you have, but you two to me are San Antonio filmmakers. I am so proud to have you guys on the show. Miss Patsy Whitfield of Another Open Door Productions, and we have Mr. Cedric Thomas Smith from Well Said Productions. Thank you guys for coming to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Whew, I'm ready to dive straight in, okay? <laughs> because I've been knowing you guys for about, what, five years now? Yes. And I still don't know the number of films that you have made, and we'll get to the awards later. But let's start with, y'all guys, tell me about the number of films just not even all of them. Tell us about some of the films that you guys have made here in San Antonio over the last few years. Well, we started off together when we met with Unimaginable. Wow. And we continued with that, um, with that production with... Unimaginable, we did. Uh, Unimaginable started off as a short film. Okay. And then there was uh, Nana's Branch, The Symphony of Silence, mm -hmm. Uh, we did one called Brackenridge Park, a love story. Oh. We shot one called The Interval uh, that isn't completed. And, and then we did She Waits. She Waits. Which was a really romantic, silent film. Yes. Very cinematic. That one was yes. beautiful. It was beautiful. Yes. And I would venture to say each and every one of these films have won at least one award. Yes, wow. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I had to think about Nana's Punch, but yes, I did right. one. Yes. That's right. So when I came on the scene, I think it was around about when Unimaginable was doing the full feature. That was amazing to me, to, to come on board with that film. And you guys, I know that Unimaginable what ran for a year, a year and a half, winning how many awards? I don't know how many awards it's won. I know it's won several film festivals. Uh, it's won numerous awards. Um, it screened at, in, you know, the Austin Revolution Film Festival, yes. the San Antonio Film Festival, and as far as it screened in Greece. Oh, yes. oh, when was that? Last year, right? That was uh, 26, 2016? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we screened in Greece. Wow. Mm -hmm. International filmmakers, yes. my bad. Not just local. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Well, speaking of uh, unimaginable, let's set it up a little bit because I know we're talking about it and maybe not everyone has seen it. So let's set it up a little bit. Tell us what it's about. Unimaginable actually was our first film and it was a mm -hmm. short film. Okay. Uh, quickly, let me just give you a brief background on me and Patsy. Patsy and I used to work together in corporate travel together. That's right. <laughs> and we met each other and we both had this love of film. Oh, and right. we loved independent love. film, yes. loved foreign film. Yes. Yes. Uh, Patsy would be at my desk all the time. All the time. So <laughs> one day on a whim, we, the San Antonio Film Festival was having screenings. Okay. And Patsy and I were like, oh, we have nothing to do. Yeah. So her and I went and watched a documentary on some people going to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. And we were just hooked because the filmmakers were in attendance and we were just like, wow, this I is us. My tribe. <laughs> so I was, you know, we were writing, you know, I was going through some stuff because I've always written things. Mm -hmm. And I had found this part of a book that I was writing and it was about this same sex couple mm -hmm. um, going through domestic violence. And the mother had to come wow. and, you know, try to rescue her son. So that was how the short came into play. And the short did so well on the festival circuit yes. that we said it needed to be expanded into the feature wow. because so many audiences related to the mother. Mm -hmm. hmm. And the mother had her own, the mother was abused. Right. So the son fell into that pattern. Mm -hmm. And that's how the feature was born a few years later. Oh and we my had goodness. such amazing cast and crew. Yes. Very amazing. It it was such a, it was so well done the film, and because of the the nature of domestic violence mm -hmm. and the twist with the same sex couple, and then I never knew about right. I, I'm sure you wrote more for the mother yeah. because that mother mm -hmm. scene was so powerful. I know that it won I don't know how many awards, and it was the young mother and the old mother. Yeah. 
because Big shout uh, out to Maxine, Maxine Greco. Greco. She played Cynthia, the, yes. the yes. mother. And, and she then, was in both films. Yes. 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 And yes. then in the feature, Alicia Rivera plays yes. uh, the, the mother as a younger yes. lady. Mm -hmm. And both of them actually won Best Actress Awards exactly. at festivals. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that is just, I mean, the, the, the movie itself, okay guys, that's it, I'm done, I'm tired of like giving all these little snip snips, let's throw to, let's go ahead and throw to the clip, watch and see, you're going to enjoy it, but grab some tissue because I think you might cry. <laughs> And welcome back to the Forward Progress show. That was intense. Mm -hmm. yes. So I know that you're sort of um, known as the the sad a writer of sad movies but they have purpose i mean they're impactful they really are and you are a phenomenal producer of <laughs> these sad movies and i know behind the scenes it has to be a struggle sometimes you know dealing with the actors and just getting the the scenes done but what are some of the struggles that you guys have faced as uh professional filmmakers here in san antonio early on pretty much because we were new, unknown. Um, we were trying to find our way. Mm -hmm. And we were blessed though, because we would run into people that believed in the project. You know, I would walk into someone's home and said, hey, I want to use your home. And I'd talk them to death and they mm -hmm. go, okay, to get her out of the house, yes. <laughs> I surrender, I surrender my home. And, um, Pretty much we did a lot on our own, which was good because we learned a lot. Yeah. And with Cedric's writing, it was easy for me to go read this and they would fall in love with his words. And so unimaginable, pretty much on our own, we did a, I think we did a wonderful job. Yes, I agree. I think, you know, the struggles, like Patsy says, you know, at the beginning we were new and this was, you know, the digital, you know, you know, everyone had a DSLR, everyone wanted to be a filmmaker. You know, I happened to, you know, I by mistake, well, not by mistake, but I was not going to be a director. Mm -hmm. I was just a writer mm -hmm. and a producer. And then through a series of events with one film, it just became, hey, I'll direct it myself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I've not looked back since. And, Thank you know, God. I am, you know, I consider myself a actor's director. So I'm all about actors. You know, I don't have any problems with actors. That's good. And, I, and I'm fortunate in that, you know, the actors come through and they, they pretty much deliver. They do. But they I, do I think, it. you know, the only struggle at first was, you know, there was no sense of, you know, community. Okay. And the San Antonio film community has gotten exponentially better. Awesome. Yes. But like when we yes. first came, there was kind of this like, you know, who the hell do they think they are? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got the side eye. 
Or the double look. The double look. He got the double look. Yeah. And so now there's a different level of respect when your names are mentioned. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. there's, yeah, and I, I guess so. But like I said, you know, we never, you know, we never do it for the approval of, you know, the, you know, our peers, you right. know. Um, we have stories to tell, That's you know. Right. I, you know, one of my things is I like to say, our films give a voice to those who don't have a voice. They make you think. Yes. They make you feel. And he's a wonderful, wonderful writer. So it's been easy for me, mm -hmm. a piece of cake to, and as I mentioned before, even up to now, we recently had a table read. And the chills I got wow. and the emotion I felt about the story, upcoming story. So it's always been that way. Okay. We've been gifted and blessed. I want to talk about one of your latest projects, Melissa. Melissa being a, the story of uh, a young lady who, oh, do I spoil it? I don't want to have a spoiler alert. Uh, let me let you tell it, because I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> uh, see, I usually, when I tell it, I usually just spoil oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, spoil it in your way. Yeah. Uh, Melissa is basically, it's a cyberbullying story. Yes. It's about a girl who's cyberbullied and she tries to hang herself. Mm. And, you know, luckily her father mm -hmm. comes home in time and saves her. Yes. Right. And she's in a hospital and then, well. There you go. And so, let me throw to a trailer. Let's watch. So that was the Melissa trailer. Oh my God, I don't know whether to clap or cry. <laughs> um, that is unfortunately a, a serious situation mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. And what I noticed is that the most of, not all, but the majority of the theme in your movies is about real life tragedies that happen that people don't talk about. Okay. Yeah, the secrets, right? And so one of the things I want to talk to you about are the two upcoming projects that you have um, spearheaded. Is that a good word? Yeah. That you mm -hmm. have spearheaded for this coming, for the beginning of the summer. I don't know what the end of the summer is going to mm -hmm. hold, but tell us about the two projects that you've started. Um, we are going into production actually this weekend on yes. a film called Breaking Brokenness. Mm -hmm. And Breaking Brokenness is about this character named Frankie, played by a Deanna Brown. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she's been in prison for 20 years for murdering her husband. And it's, she shows up to reunite with her daughter at a baby shower and then basically all hell breaks mm -hmm. loose. Mm -hmm. But as the journey progresses, you realize it's you realize that she was a victim of domestic violence, yeah. and then there was another situation that happened. So it's up. It's about healing yeah. and breaking the cycle of family secrets and families not owning, you know, their damage. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that is. That good, is. I know, right? You feel good about that one. That is. But it's stuff. true. Correct. Exactly. It's true, and I think that your films open up a dialogue where when people leave the theater or wherever they're watching it at, then they can start to talk about those things and maybe the healing can begin in their families as well. Yeah. Exactly. It's exactly. impactful. 
Exactly. And that's one of the things that makes me so proud. Yes. You know, and with the productions, with his writing, with the cast and crew that delivers yeah. the performances. And your upcoming performance? Look Ooh. out. Look out. Yeah, she's going to be beat down. Look out. So pray for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then on a lighter note, um, Miss Patsy Whitfield is um, <laughs> embarking on a new show herself this summer, and you'll be seeing it coming very soon, called I Never Met a Stranger. This lady has never <laughs> met a stranger. Never. And if you never. ever see her in public <laughs> and she talks to you, just go along with it. And I think that we're going to start having hidden cameras. This show came out of your love for creative people and just getting to know people exactly you walk tell us about it I, I don't want to just tell us about your show well first of all the the title these two the title they would always tell me or talking to each other she's talking to someone randomly or random, random place just, just, just random just, just random. Growl. and my I have this thing about people and I love and I enjoy them yes everyone has a story and that's where we get our stories from and when you're in my presence, you're in my presence. And I try to make you feel that. So out of the me randomly just saying hello, it might be a hello and it turns into a conversation. It turns into life. It turns into your life. So we came up, well, in fact, you came up with the title, I Never Met a Stranger. She's because when they're with me, they're like, how long oh, is this yeah. gonna go? How long? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just like, I'm caught here, whatever. So look forward to that. It's yes. people, places, restaurants, anything. I love creativity yes. and the creative genius of people. And I'm always, if you're on my Facebook, one of the big things, surround yourself with people that elevate you creatively. Yes. And thank God I've done that. You have. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I will always say about you is that you can be sitting in a room with someone else and you say, well, how did we meet? <laughs> it was Patsy. <laughs> you are the most, uh, what am I trying to say? You are the best person at connecting two people together. And it's like, hi, I want you to meet this person. He's a creative. She's a creative. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Yep. Connect. connect. It's always up to the two people that you introduce to connect themselves. Right. You are amazing at that. And I am grateful because I've met a ton of San Antonio filmmakers. And not just San Antonio, but through connecting with you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank I you. you. And thank you for the title of the show. You real people. I, thank you. I love you for real. I know. Okay. <laughs> a moment. I know. <laughs> it's it's a journey and I I'm I'm on my own time now. So, I'm really grateful to y'all for real for real. All my questions are done. And this part of the journey has been so amazing to just to say San Antonio filmmakers. This is the name of this segment. Mm -hmm. And to be led by two friends of mine that are well respected, Thank well you. received in this community, and knowing your genuineness, knowing your struggles, knowing what you have to do to get that film made, and the pride that you feel for the project, and it's not ever about you, no. it's never about you. I remember saying, oh, you are award-winning, award-winning, and you're like, it's not about the awards, it's about the project. The awards, what did you say? Wait. Don't get me wrong, we like the awards, but you know, that's not what it's for. No. You know, I um, like when I watch, you know, our films, I'm looking at audience reaction. Mm -hmm. now, I will take your award, don't get me wrong, I will take your <laughs> award. Right. But, you know, I, I want the audience to connect. I, one of my favorite um, moments at a film festival was when, when Melissa screened, mm -hmm. and there was a young lady in the audience who said that she had tried to commit her suicide several times. Exactly. And after watching Melissa, she realized that she never thought about how her mother yeah. felt. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, she came up to me, she thanked, you know, wow. me and the team mm -hmm. for putting that out there because she never thought, oh, how does my mom feel every time I try to do this? Right. That was powerful. So. But thank powerful. you. Thank you for going in deep when we know that it's not easy. No. It's, it's not easy, and I really, for real, appreciate it. So, Breaking Brokenness, Hollowed. Did we talk about Hollowed yet? No, we oh, have not goodness. talked about Hollowed. Um, Patsy and I are 
and for our progress are producing mm -hmm. our next short called Hollow yes. in June. June. Mm -hmm. And we have an amazing cast on this one. We yes. have Hoyt Richards, he's out of LA. Yes. Uh, he is amazing. He and Laura Houston mm -hmm. and you know Casey Lacombe and Michael Sanchez. And yes. Hollowed is about this family. Um, basically the kids have grown up, moved away, mm -hmm. and the couple, they just fell into a marital rut. Mm -hmm. And you know, nothing happened. They just drifted apart. Mm -hmm. They stayed together but he becomes terminal oh. and then it brings the family back together so yeah i know the script it, 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 it's it's you know tearjerker get out your tissues yeah. your yes hankies. Yeah. here we go again so. <laughs> i love it so. man so uh -huh. this summer is jam-packed um people are working actors and actresses yes. are working yes. in san antonio thank you Thank you yeah. so much, okay. um, me being one of them. And by the way, I had to audition hard for this part, mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. There's no freebies here. We have to audition. You have to be exactly. about your craft. You have to, it's just not like a, oh, let me jump on board this little train and keep moving. No, you have to work, put in the work and um, you will reap the rewards. We're exactly. doing that and, and I really appreciate it. Well said productions. Another Open Door Productions, Patsy Whitfield, Cedric Thomas Smith. Thank you guys so much. Thank you well, no, so thank much. You thank, you. thank you. And we're so proud of you thank for you. the things that you're doing, the upcoming 2018 and beyond. You yes. need to watch, person yeah. to watch. And as we always say, keep creating. Yeah. And you participate in Dream the Screen because she put together a very good program. Exactly, exactly. You. Yes. you need to participate. Participate, yes. And so we want to thank you guys so much again. Thank you for watching. And remember that you can make your dream to screen, page to stage, and you can do it at any age. Never, ever give up on your dreams because we are living proof that it is we possible. Show. Yes. <laughs> it is it's possible. hard work, but it is possible to do it. And so thank you again. God bless you yes. and continue to create.